keep wanting to just run into the doors to push them open. Kind of miss being able to do that. <laughs> Gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. <laughs> hmm. Boxes that I completely missed. Rifle ammo. Sweet. Uh, this actually isn't that bad. We're, like, right there already. So, welcome back to Character Select, Dave Saban. Red and Evil 4 Remake. Yes, I did say Red and It. Red and It. Red and Evil. Uh, we're going back to the incubation lab to kill this guy. Spread out. Hey. Actually, yeah. You should probably reload all of your weapons before you start fucking with them. And your shotgun. In fact, you might want to even make more shotgun ammo and rifle ammo. Just in case. Well, they're not making anything else. Alright. Not bad. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh oh. Ah! What the fuck? Hey, you got a cheat on board, though. That man is shooting you over and over again. Yeet. Did he just T-pose for a second? Maybe? He has absolutely wrecked your body armor, and you need to reload. My body armor was already wrecked, actually. Oh. Well, then you're fine. Fuck you, me. uh... I thought I reloaded! Yeah. No, you did not. Alright, he dead. Huh, there you go. <clears throat> and you got a gem for your troubles. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, no sweat. I mean, I've been better, but I'm not doing too bad. Yeah, so that was just a, an Iron Maiden with a fuck ton of uh, plugus in him. Not bad. And a uh, ranged attack that really fucking sucked. Another thing that I forgot I missed. Jesus. So that's a request. <laughs> nice work. Well then, what can I do you for? What can you do me for? Oh, my back is killing me. This is the same you chapter, so I don't think he has no first aid spray or anything. Which is a shame. Yeah, not yet. But I can sell this. Well, well. I can certainly repair this and repair that. Could you come back any time? And it's really not that hard to get back to the where we were. Because it's literally right here. Yeah. You know, I I was thinking. We work well together, don't we? I guess so. Right? Maybe someday I'll become an agent like you. What do you think? We could protect the U.S. from any and all threats. Is that right? <laughs> well, either way. First, we have to make it out of here. <laughs> You're no fun. Look, Leon's what, 27 at this point? Mm hmm. Probably. Maybe a little older. Because he was 21. No, he was 21 in Resident Evil 2. So this is four, five, six years later. So yeah, 27. Yeah. Ish. I also like that he's not trying to dissuade her from doing something dangerous. But he's also no. not being like, yeah, you should absolutely do it. Because he's not an idiot. <laughs> He'd probably lose his job. Yeah, also true. Yeah, I would totally play a game starring this Ashley. Yeah, absolutely. 
Or even a game Let where her and, like, her and Sherry team up. <laughs> or even she just teams up with Leon again, you know? Yeah. As like an actual agent. Yeah. Whole post Resident Evil Six thing. It's important imperative you do not disturb the holy body's slumber. Uh what? Yeah, don't do that. This must be what Luis was talking about. The amber that had to plug us. So they used the T-Virus to, like, make the Plagas work, right? Essentially? I don't think the T-Virus has anything to do with the Plagas, actually. I mean, maybe it does, I don't know. I think it's just its own little thing. This little guy. This is our holy body. Our divine providence and soon. Such a profound blessing for all. Lost blood. Just fucking well, shoot him. I am Osman Sattler, the speaker for our Lord. Tell someone who gives a shit. Thank you. Foolish lambs. I mean, it didn't work, Why but thank you. I agree. Now, abandon your body. Obey. Obey the voice of our Lord. No! No! Stop! No! Nice shot! child. Not resist. Look at the gun. Click. <laughs> she limp wristed it. Good job, I Ashley. Of these wicked sinners. My faithful disciples shall deliver to you your penance. Now, child, you need not be afraid. Submit your body and release yourself from fear. It actually makes me wonder if it's taking so long for Leon and Ashley to succumb because they have the, the new Plagas that supposedly makes them smart. Uh... Yes, and also they're just very strong-willed. Did you just fucking cock that and then double-check it? Yes. You bastard. Hey, he said the thing. And it wasn't actually, like, weirdly censored. <laughs> Alright, can I blow this thing up? I would really no. love to blow this thing up. Sharon. I'm sure it'll get its comeuppance. Ooh, what? Do I sell that? Yeah. I didn't even notice I sold the last one. Overjoyed to report wonderful news. Production of the superior species of Las Plagas is officially underway. Rest assured you will reach our ultimate goal. If the capa has the capacity to live in any vertebrate, be it human, dog, or even crow, no other parasite like it on Earth, the superior species is particularly impressive. It can simulate with the host without causing any damage to the brain. No one can boast the strength of your dominance, my lord. On the contrary, who would resist once they experience the utter joy that accompanies the absence of free will? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Bitches be crazy. Mm-hmm. It does seem to be a relatively common theme in Japanese games. Like, the evils of free will and stuff like that. Yes. One of those cultural things we were at least to understand, I'm sure. Oh, they're rapturous. Sweet. Where 
You just saw Osmond Sadler. And it was the last thing you ever saw. Oh, I hear you, bitch. Ooh, red herb, sweet. Per your request, redevelopment of the island is well underway. Weapons and other defensive equipment have been set up to guard against any outside intruders. By the time we are finished, the island will be a giant fortress. Won't hold up long term, but they should last until we carry out our plan. Once accomplished, we'll be that much closer to our ultimate goal of world domination. None will be able to resist our power, Jack Krauser. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think they heard that. Uh oh. Heavy grenade. Money, money, and money. Sweet. Honestly, I kind of wish I had fucking bullets more than money at this point. Money yeah, is nice, that but. That is the Resident Evil 4 experience. I saw you now. No! I really wanted to make him regret it. Come on, guys. What? What are you doing? It's funny. <laughs> I thought you were getting ready to shoot that box for some reason. No. No. I can do this 14 more times, guys. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. And stupid, but also hilarious. <laughs> I think he double tapped that guy, went through his hand into his face. Well, he won't be in Resident Evil 5. That guy actually managed to not die immediately. Hello. What's in here? Sweet. Lucre. Sweet. Filthy Lucre. <coughs> Another red herb. Jesus. Game's being weirdly generous. Suspiciously generous, one might say. One might say. He came from that way. I know, I'm just double checking. Yeah, okay. Huh. They were all soldiers. Operation Javier, few people have heard the name even within the highest ranks of the U.S. government, and little wonder, too. Operation was not made public. Uh, it was conducted in secret, then buried. The reason being, it was too inhumane. It started back in 2002, when a small unit of U.S. Special Forces was sent to infiltrate an area of South America. Mission was to eradicate the drug cartels. <laughs> the whole operation took several years to prepare for, and only the most elite soldiers were selected to participate. I don't know if the mission was failure or not, but I do know the fate of those elite soldiers once it was over. Apparently, the entire unit was wiped out, except for the commanding officer, Major Krauser. Not by the cartels, but by the U.S. Shouldn't have been difficult to extract a single-stranded unit. All it would have taken was a single helicopter, but for some reason, the military didn't react. Rumors say the decision was the outcome of a power struggle among the top brass. Others say it was a director from the former president himself, but we never know the truth since it was all covered up. I'm certain of one thing. The U.S. government let those people die. Brave young people who dedicated their lives to protect their company. Country. Company. I want to expose this crime, not because it's my responsibility as a reporter, but because it's my duty as a fellow American. The document concerns, uh, this document concerns Operation Javier and was written by an American journalist named Blank Blank. This article will never be published. Blank has already been taken care of. Cool. Krauser... That's weird. It's really weird. Browser is 1000% gay for Leon in this You've done version. Well to make it this far, rookie. I've prepared a battlefield up ahead. 
just for us soldiers. Watered by the blood of generations, hundreds of years, it's the perfect place to put an end to what happened two years ago. It's also weird that you recorded that. Apart from campus with target, escort target as usual until the start of phase two. There should be three others inside the vehicle, including Baker. Abel's unit will follow behind you in a separate vehicle. Continue to drive your normal route. Stop the vehicle under the pretense of engine trouble. Transfer the target to Abel's vehicle. The Abel's unit will change course. Subdue and restrain the target. Place the target in a large container. Baker's unit will create a diversion. Henry's unit will infiltrate the investigation's database and disable the network. Meet at point K9 and transfer the cargo onto the ship. All right, well, uh, next time on Character Select, I guess I'm gonna... Guess I'm gonna look alive. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you like it and save it. Devastating power. Now can I use the Magnum? Yes. Okay. But only at the very end. Not, not right away. I don't know what happened to that bird. <laughs> He got fucking launched in the stratosphere, that's what happened. <laughs>